Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum friends and subscribers. This is Mahmoud Sheikh and from past few videos I'm working on a tutorial series of how to make a blog application using Laravel 5.4. In my last video I shown you how to download and install Laravel package and how to change the home page of the of our Laravel or Laravel 5.4. And in this video I will show you how to download this login and register functionality into our uh, um, into our application, okay? As I said earlier, this login and register functionality uh, you can import it from the Laravel itself. You don't have to create these functionalities by your own. If you want this login and register functionality in your application, then you need to download a special package uh, package uh, for, from Laravel. Uh, and once, uh, once that package gets downloaded, you automatically login and register uh, pages will get downloaded in your project and you can make use of those functionalities in your application okay so let's um for that first we need to create a database in our um, php my admin so let's go there and create a database okay now i am in my php my admin i will click on databases okay now i will type uh, database name as blog I will click on create okay now it's uh, I got showing a message database has been created now I will come to my editor and I will go to dot env file I will open it open this file and I will uh, in this file I uh, I have to make some changes inside uh, DB connection in this section uh, we, I need to specify the configuration of my database okay the database name was blog this is the we need to mention the name of our database which we have created just few seconds back and then user will be root and i haven't set any password for my database that's why i'm leaving it as blank okay now uh, we have created a database and we have uh, linked that database to our uh, to, to our application okay Okay, now let's uh, come here, come to our project and let's discuss this one thing. Okay, whenever we download and install uh, any Laravel project, we will be getting some set of folders like the, these folders which you are uh, which you can see inside this folder. Okay, one of the folders inside uh, amongst these folders will be the uh, database folders. Okay, inside database folders, we will be having a folder with the name called as migrations. So whenever we download any Laravel project, Laravel will create uh, two PHP files inside this migration folders and the name of those PHP files are create user table.php and create password resets table.php these two tables these two files are actually the schema of the tables which we need to create inside our database okay if I click on this file I will get the information of uh, the table of, of the table users okay how many fields will be there inside that table users you can see there is id name email and password these schema file will be created by their own when, when we install any laravel project okay this is the password password table schema so based on schema based on this schema files we will be generating the tables for these particular tables uh, for, will be uh, generating the tables for these particular files or schema inside our database okay right now if I click on the database we haven't uh, maybe uh, we didn't get any tables because we haven't created any tables inside our database we just created a database plain database and here we are having two schema files table schema files so in order to convert the schema files into uh, tables into database tables we need to go to our command prompt type cmd and we need to go to XAMPP CD XAMPP CD ST ST docs then CD blocks okay okay CD block okay now I need to type PSP artisan migrate okay now I will hit enter
Okay, now you can see we have get a message saying that migration table created successfully along with uh, with an error. Okay, so let's just fix this. Uh, go to our database table and uh, refresh our database. See, when I refresh the database, uh, I get two tables. One is for users and another one is for migrations. Users table is the table which is created by using this user uh, create user schema. Okay, uh, so we uh, along with the users table it also had to uh, create one one more table for passwords because since we get an error here while um, while migrating that's why we didn't get an another table inside our database so what i will do i will just check these two tables and i will drop these click drop okay and click yes Okay. okay, now I will come to my editor and I will just copy this error, copy and come to your browser, type in, go to Google, okay, now type or paste that error and search for the solution and then click on the first link okay, here you will find the solution for the error okay, here it's saying you need to uh, import this package okay, let's copy this and add it uh, and it's saying this uh, you need to add this code inside the file called as app service provider.php so we will get this file inside our app folder and then providers and then there is a file called as app service provider.php here we need to paste it out okay along with the along with this code okay copy this and paste it here okay now save it and close it and again come to your command prompt and then again type the php artisan migrate okay type php artisan migrate and then hit enter now i will see a message as migrate table create migration table created successfully okay see uh, now I'm not getting any kind of error which I was getting in the last step here. Okay, so now I will if I come to my browser and if refresh the page, see I get three tables now. One is for users, second one is for password, and third one is for migrations. And these two tables are created based on the schema, based on the schema here inside this migrations. Okay, so one one table is for user and second one for password and third one is for migration to keep track all the migration details they have created one more migration table okay so now uh, if i now i will go to my project here okay refresh the page okay nothing will happen because i need to change it here okay let's go back to welcome okay save it and refresh again i am calling my welcome page okay that's laravel so that is okay come to resources welcome okay let's say welcome to laravel if i refresh okay you can see a message as welcome to laravel okay now uh, in my first video when I, when I was showing you a demo of my blog application I shown you these two links login and register with the help of which you can you will be able to log in and register um, so so how we can uh, uh, how we can import this functionality how we can use this functionality without uh, writing each and every code for this functionality okay so for that you need to again go to your command prompt and then type php artisan make auth okay so if i now hit enter 
it will download all the necessary files and folders that are required to build a, a login and register functionality okay now we are saying the view already exists which is that uh, okay home.blade.php okay so in my last video when i was uh, explaining you regarding the installation and download uh, of laravel i had created a view with the name called as home.blade.php okay so um, so the home.blade.php file will be created by the laravel itself when uh, when downloading the pa downloading the packages for login and registration okay so it's saying this home.blade.php is already existing which i have created in my last video so here it's asking me to replace that file okay so now i will hit y press y and then hit enter and it's now i got a message saying that authentication scaffolding generated successfully okay now uh, if i come to my project uh, here okay let's bring this here okay, and this one is here okay now if i come to my project and refresh you can see um, the whole layout of our home page will be changed okay now let's refresh you can see you uh, we got uh, two links which is login and register but still we are uh, our layout is not looking to somewhat this okay we have to change this layout we need to change this welcome page to the login page so for that you need to come to your editor and then okay now you can see there is an auth folder automatically generated inside the views folder along with the login and register templates uh, which have been created automatically when we run the command called php artisan make colon auth okay so now we need to change our default view welcome view to our login view so login view is present inside uh, the views and there is a folder called as auth and inside auth folder there is a file called as login.blade.php okay so um, inside our web.php we need to change the path as auth.login okay now i am telling the laravel to load the login template login view which is present inside the auth folder inside views okay so when i refresh now now if i refresh the page i'll get a login page okay now you can see uh, a login functionality is been uh, is been integrated with our application and a registration functionality is also integrated with our project okay now i can register as many as users i want okay so uh, and at the same time i can register also and i can make them log into our application also okay so i don't have to write the entire functionality of developing this login and register functionality for our application we can just uh, use uh, php artisan make colon auth command uh, to develop this functionality so now what i'm doing is i'll um, create some users and i will make them log in okay i will make first register the users and then i will log in with those users okay, now first let's create a user okay now i entered as a name as mehmood shake and email address as mehmood at gmail.com okay password and then password and i will register okay now i am registered and now it has taken me to the dashboard of my uh, of my home page okay now if i log log out i can log out also okay now i will register different another user which is a second user okay second user is michael okay now if i click on register the second user will also get registered to our application okay so i will just log out now and i will show you uh, login with the first user okay now i will log in with first user okay Uh, and see i can log in to my dashboard okay so this is how we can easily create a functionality of logging uh, login and registration from uh, in our laravel application okay so i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful information out of this video how to um, uh, how to integrate login functionality and how to create database create database and uh, migrate tables in those database uh, i hope you 
I got some useful information out of this video. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe to our channel, click on like button, share it with your friends. And uh, in, in my next video, I will show you how to add uh, uh, how to um, how to add users how to add a profile um, your profile of a user once the user gets logged in um, i want the users to create their personal profile so that i can display their profile details here in the in their dashboard okay so in the next video i will show you how to create the profiles for the users okay so now uh, okay uh, i will see you in my next video thanks for watching